I found out uh, late October, but uh, when I found out it was incredible because um, I don't know if you've seen or heard about these letters. Um, it's got Her Majesty's you know, services and all the rest of it. It's a big white envelope. It doesn't look like the Inland Revenue or a tax <laughs> um, letter. It just looks really impressive. So when um, I got this letter, my business partner uh, opened it. She came upstairs white and she said, look, you've got to see this, and pulled me outside of the shop because she knew what I would have done inside, and said, look, look, look. So when she showed it to me, I thought that somebody was closing me down or something. But when it said, because all you can see, it just says MBE services to, and I just couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. It's services to hairdressing and education and charity, because it's all kind of rolled into one. So obviously there have been whoever's been looking what I'm doing, they're, they're seeing it, it's all kind of rolled into one. And um, yes, I do a lot of educational work, yes, um, I do a lot of charity stuff, but more and more I think it's how you're, you're kind of perceived outside uh, for hairdressing, because I think hairdressing is amazing, but it's a small bubble um, in comparison to our world. But when somebody sees it from um, Buckingham Palace and the government, and you know they see it on that level, I think it's incredible. It was it was brilliant. We just lined up to go in. Uh, we meet, everybody meets everybody else, so there's people from all over the place. I met um, uh, a lieutenant, I met a colonel, uh, I met one of the beef eaters, I met um, a lawyer who um, got um, an MBE, I uh, met a reverend, uh, I met Des Lynam. Um, so it was great to kind of be in a room with everybody because um, what I think this shows, it just shows what people can do and mix and shows the diversities of today because this is the first one for the Queen to give out the medals but it was such a cross section of society so you know and there's me stuck in there doing hairdressing. Uh, the actual ceremony works is um, obviously you know it's all etiquette uh, you're not allowed to turn your back on the Queen, you're not allowed to speak unless you're spoken to, and you're not allowed to go over. When she pushes her hand out and pushes you away, you leave. Uh, this is such a surreal um, day, and I mean this, it's such a surreal day to be, you know, the Queen was standing there and she came up and put a medal on me. You know, to be, it's, it's just amazing. And she talks to you like, um, you know, she's known you for a long time. When I first started off in hairdressing, um, Neville Daniel had the Queen's Warrant. So there was a guy who's passed away called Charles Martin, and he took assistance to the palace. So it's quite interesting, you know, we spoke about him. And uh, it was even more interesting because we've got something else a little bit in common, not to say I've got anything in common with the Queen, is um, my shop's in Motcombe Street and the person who presently uh, dresses her, a guy called Stuart Parvin, is one of my best mates and we just spoke about him. Uh, I've got a lot of friends, um, we're, we're having um, a nice lunch, uh, which will probably go on a little bit late, and um, later on in the year uh, I'm going to combine uh, the MBE with my 10 year celebration, so today is like a little tester. One of the biggest things for me was to kind of uh, get my shop um, off the ground, up and running, and we celebrate 10 years this year, but to get this, you know, an MBE, and just to be walking in that palace, it's, it's unreal, it's totally unreal. <laughs>